A local student just wanted to play dodgeball with his classmates, but he couldn't because he's in a wheelchair. So a few fellow Hutto hippos stepped in to help him out, and the results have been life-changing. KVU's Williamson County reporter Christy Millward is here, and Christy, you talked to these students today. Well, Mike and Terry, these high school students tell me at first it was a problem to solve. They just didn't realize until today how much joy that solution would bring. It's become a rite of passage. Three, two, P.E. Dodgeball. Here in Hutto, no, so they're playing a bowling version, no. knocking down pins. And one student, Jacob Wickstead, has a special throw. I like the cannon. It is fun. Ten-year-old Wickstead is wheelchair-bound and communicates through this eye-activated computer. He tells me the dodgeball catapult lets him play with his friends. It helped me be a part of my PE class. It's all thanks to some Hutto high schoolers. To see it come out like this is such a uh, great uh, like experience. Sophomore Ralph Cisneros and his team built the catapult as part of their STEM class. It uh, really like gave me an understanding about how things work and that they can really impact people. Iman Faiz, Tyler Calhoun, and Chase Griffin are part of the class. I was definitely excited for, uh, for school each day. Hutto High School engineering teacher Andrew Halb says their work is preparing these students for a bright future. Every career is going to be involved with technology in, in some respects, and so you're either making the machines or you're getting replaced by the machine. They are awesome students. For the first time, Wickstead gets to thank the catapult creators. You make a difference in this world. Hearing him say that, hey, we made a difference for him specifically was a really good opportunity. I never thought I'd, be, I'd, I'd hear that from somebody. I really didn't know how he felt about it until he actually told me, which was really exciting. An excitement for both the creator and Wickstead. Thank you also. Love you guys. Now this is just one of dozens of projects the students created, so you can check out the other ones, including rockets, robots, even 3D printing, at the STEM Nation Expo tonight. That's from 6 to 8 at the East Williamson County Higher Education Center in Hutto. Christy Millward, KVU News. Wow, kids That's making cool. such a difference. Yeah, Love absolutely. that story. Thanks, Christy.